Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to create a Spring Boot backend application and we are going to import it to the Eclipse IDE. So let's begin. There are so many ways to create a Spring Boot application. I am going to use the Spring Initializer to create the Spring Boot application. So in order to use the Spring Boot Initializer, go to this website which is start.spring.io and select the project which is a Maven project and select the language which is Java and select the Spring Boot version. I'm going to choose 2.1.1. The latest one is 2.2.4. You can select that as well, but do not choose M1, Snapshot, any other things because those are all the beta versions. Let's add the group ID. I'll specify my website name in dot Bushan Sirigur. Let's add the artifact ID, online bookstore. Let's expand the options. Let's add a name, online bookstore and provide a description, Angular 8 and Spring Boot full stack development. And I'm happy with the package name. Let's select the packaging as var and select the Java version 8. And in the down dependencies, add the dependencies that you are required. The first dependency is Spring Data JPA, and we need a Spring Data REST, which is a REST repositories. And as we discussed, we are going to use a Lombok, it's a Java library. Let's add the dependency and we need a MySQL driver. Let's add that, that as well. Once you are happy with the dependencies, click on this generate. That will download the zip file. Let's go to downloads and copy the zip file and go to the directory where you have created the git repository and inside that paste the zip file and extract zip file that will gives the online bookstore folder so let's delete the zip file we don't need that so now let's go to the eclipse id and go to file and select import and filter for maven and select existing maven projects click next and let's actually go to the uh, directory where you have pasted the project and copy the path and paste it and hit enter. It will detect the pom.xml file and you can see online bookstore. Click finish. So now the project has been imported to the Eclipse IDE. So this will take a few seconds to download all the dependencies depending upon your internet speed. So once you have added the project to the Eclipse ID, it will automatically detect the repository. You can see online bookstore, the master branch. So if you go to the Git repositories in the down, and if you expand this, and if you go to the working tree, okay, it's supposed to appear here. Just refresh this, and you can see we have this online bookstore. The project is inside the repository. So but we are having some errors in the project. Let's expand this and go to the pom.xml unknown error. Okay, this is a common error. So we have to specify the Maven version in the pom.xml. So go to the source view of the pom.xml and inside the properties. Let's add the Maven version. Maven minus jar minus plugin dot version. And the Maven version is 3.1.1. Okay, so let's save this. This will build the project and you can see the error has disappeared, but still the error is in the project. So let's actually right click and update the Maven project. Go to Maven and click on the update project. So select the force update of snapshot or releases. Click OK. As you can see, now there is no error in the project. 
so now we have imported the project to the eclipse id and in the next video we are going to configure the application dot properties so that is coming up in the next video thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video